What's happening with everybody out there? You know, we back with another episode today. Let's talk about an episode ch -ch 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 three, man. You know, I've been grinding, trying to get out there with this content and everything, you know, keeping it real with y'all. Today, we're going to talk about Carly Russell. Woo, Tierra Allen. Woo, yes, yes, yes. AKA the sassy trucker. Listen here. While you're here, man, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, you know, share the video, show your boy some love, man. Hey, when you start from the bottom, man, they want to keep you at the bottom, you feel me? That's what they want, but man, we shooting straight up to the top. Well, it ain't no other way with this right here. So like I said, man, I appreciate everybody who view, who take their time out to come see me, come listen to what I'm talking about, you know, what I got going on. Let's talk about it. You know, this show going to be big pretty soon, man. I, I, I appreciate all the early on supporters that's here supporting early right now. You know, it count. You know, when you're doing something, man, like this, creating content and everything, you know, you go, you run across a lot of haters, man. People hate, you know, for any and every which reason they want to hate for you. feel me? But we don't care about them. They don't matter to us. You know, you matter. You matter to me because you here. And y'all messing with me, you feel me? So, more power to y'all. I appreciate y'all. I promise that. Let's get straight to it, man. So, as the world know, Carly Russell. Whew, where do I start with this, man? Uh, you know, we had all heard her story and everything, man. It was sad, a real sad situation at first. You know, we didn't thought this girl didn't got abducted. You know, it was just, uh, people probably think she was snatched up by a cartels or sex traffickers, you know. Uh, we all know how the story go. This young lady, you know, black lady, man, she, she, you know, coming coming from out there, coming from home, coming from work, wherever she going to, uh, on her way, she says she's seen a baby on the side of the road. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie about it. Like, when I first heard the story, I was like, oh, damn, they, they didn't got her, man. You know, this fucked up. And I was kind of happy about it because, like, not happy about the situation that happened. And don't get it twisted, but I'm just saying, like, you feel me? I was happy because it was getting exposure early on. Like, you know, come from these black communities that we come from, man. A lot of adoptions happen and stuff like that. And sometimes the police don't go looking for them. They'd be like, we need 24 hours, 48 hours before we could go look for somebody that's reported missing, you know, in most, most cases. So, like, for her to get the attention early on, you know, I was having hope, everything. She had me fooled for a quick second. But wait a minute. <laughs> Man, the thinker, thinker start, start to move into thinking. At the same time, when I first heard the story, you know, my girl had brought it to me. And I was like, what? You know? And then I got to thinking about it. Did, this story sound real familiar once I heard it. I was like, man, it's a young lady. I believe she's from out of California. She goes by the name of uh, Sherry. I think it's Pe Panini or something. Panini, Sherry Panini. You look her up, man, you'll see. Like, she did some stuff where she said she was abducted, abducted, got abducted, kidnapped, whatever, you know, and... Long story short, man, this girl's out cheating with another dude, another man, man, and the guest didn't want her boyfriend to find out, you know how they be, man, sneaky and shit, but she got caught up, thinking she was slick, but she was sloppy. Yeah, yeah, and the uh, first thing when I heard this Carly Russell situation, it was like the same thing to me, like that instantly flashed into my head, I was like, gosh, hold on, this story sound familiar, man, you know? It brought, brought me, excuse me, it brought me back to that Sherry Papini stuff, you know? And and I ain't gonna lie about it. When I first heard about it like a child on the side of the road, I had to tell my girl, I'm like, man, hold on, babe, let's think about this. Okay, if somebody is trying to kidnap somebody, you know, and um, abduct them, sex traffic, or whatever they gonna be trying to do to, to the young lady. What would make somebody put a baby on the side of the road to catch somebody? Because my thought process at that time was like, man, a baby could be walking on the side of the road. If cars is just passing by, then, you know, you don't know who's to stop, you know? Shit, a police officer could have stopped. Fire department, a male could have stopped. So 
And then instantly, I just threw that out the window. I was like, hell no. Nah. Ain't nobody finna put a child on the side of the road to catch a female, man. That just sound beyond, way far-fetched, you know? You know? And I, I just want to keep it real, man. I'm not here to judge nobody. That's not my thing, you know. I am a man of God. I believe in God. I believe in faith. I don't like judging people. I am human, you know. So we make mistakes sometimes, man. But like I'm, like I'm here. I'm not here to bash nobody or destroy nobody. And they didn't put themselves in bad situations already as it is, you know. I'm just here to bring the content on it and my reaction to the situation. You know, so she definitely went Jesse Smullett on us, man. <laughs> She's the female version, man. And it's not, this situation, I ain't even gonna lie, man. You know, I might crack little jokes here and there, but it's not funny at all, you know, because you gotta think about it. My thoughts was, like, now that she didn't got caught up and everybody know that she's capping, lying, like, you know, it, it, I would just start thinking about, damn, what happened in future cases and future situations like this, especially with the black American woman, you know, when they go missing now, you know, they might be like, shit, man, we got another, another Carly Russell on our hands, you know, and they might not be so fast to react to the situation for the next person that come up missing. She might have just fucked that up, you know, next person, man. I just say God bless for all the women out here. All the women, be safe. The world is a crazy place nowadays, man, you know. Always be safe. Always be thinking of your safety first, man, first and foremost. So, yeah, long story short, man, they trying to say that uh, I guess her boyfriend, man, I guess she was, uh, you know, did all this over her boyfriend. <sighs> Gosh, he must have been piping them pound town in that thing man he took her to pound town <laughs> you know sometimes you could dig them out man and uh, all they do is got dick on their brain they turn to a dickhead they can't think uh, they can't think past the sex man fellas out there y'all better watch how y'all taking on the pound town pound town <laughs> you know they doing crazy shit out here nowadays but no no <laughs> not too much joking but man it, it was just crazy man with with this lady man and this young girl so you know man i wish her the best and everything for her situation i'm very very interested in seeing like what's going to happen from this situation you know I'm, i definitely think she might have to do some um jail time you know guaranteed that you know and the world we live in sometimes man it might not be over for her, as far as our life you know she's still a young lady and like I said, I'm not here to judge nobody. We all as human beings have made mistakes, man. You know, I can't even hold none against her. I leave that, the judgment and all that. That's between her and God as far as how I feel, you know. So I wish her the best still. You know, I, I, mental health is real too nowadays, though, man. You never know. Like, for people to be doing stuff like that, man, they could have something wrong with them mentally, you know. Like, a lot of people walk around day to day, look like they all right on the outside, but, you know, inside, physically, stuff is eating them up, mentally, stuff eating them up, you know, and sometimes, like, rather than calling out for help, they'll do strange stuff like this, you know, uh, seek tension another way. I don't know if her case was this situation and shit. Like I said, I ain't trying to take up for what she did. It was wrong. Yeah, you know. But at the same time, I wish her the best, man. Hopefully, she learned from this. Hopefully, like, you know, she could still have a life, still uh, go for it, you know. Hopefully, she get her boyfriend back, you know. I don't know. Like me, I don't know if I could mess with a girl that crazy to do something like that, do some crazy stuff like that. Like, man, I, I'm I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's why I got to say on Carly Russell. You know, she's a hot, a hot topic out here in the world right now. You know, and uh, everything, hopefully everything work out for her and her best, man. She live and she learn, hopefully, you know. Now, moving on, you know, there's another story with women that's going on. Different situation, you know. We got a young lady by the name of Tierra Allen, a.k.a. the sexy truck driver on TikTok. You know, I, they say she a TikTok celebrity out here, you know. She she got a lot of um, followers and everything like that. I guess she was a... Excuse me. <clears throat> I guess she a truck driver. 
a female truck driver. If you think about that, that's hella dope. Cause like me personally, I I I don't really see seen too many uh female truck drivers driving them big rigs and shit. She doing her business. She handling her. She on her shit. You feel me? Doing her thing. From the, from the looks of it, look like she a beautiful, young, bright, intelligent young lady, you know. Like I said, I'm not here to uh, bash nobody or tear nobody down, especially not the women. You know, all my black queens, you know. I'm a black king. I love y'all and everything. So, like I said, man, but the, cra the crazy thing about her situation is I guess she went out to Dubai, a whole nother country from America, you know, and was out there just living. You know how I be, man. You from America, you know, you doing it big. You probably didn't travel to USA, you know. It's probably your first time going out of country. I don't know, you know, but that's big. Dubai is a, a place even I thought about like going to visit and shit like plenty of times. Like Dubai look dope. It's definitely somewhere like I would want to visit, but now like, man, it goes with any 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 time you're traveling up out the country, man. You definitely want to read up on the country. Do some studying about the country. Uh, everything's not American, man. You know? Everything is not Americanized. Certain countries got certain rules, certain structures, certain foundations that they stand on and that they built upon. You feel me? Some, the littlest thing in some of these countries, you probably could spit on the ground in one of these countries, man, unknowingly. And like how we do in America all the time, just spit. You spit on the ground in some of these other countries that's out of America, man, they probably cut your tongue off. What is you doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, man, for her situation, it's sad. I guess she ran a rental car. Uh, upon returning a rental car, she got into it with a with a rental car agent. Unfortunately, you know, I I, I guess they saying allegedly she got loud. She raised her boy voice back with the uh, rental car person, man. And you know, I guess in their country over there, you know, they like hold on, no woman could get out of line with a man like that. You know, I guess that's their foundations over there. You know, and she raised her voice supposedly. Now she's stuck over there. They detained her, locked her up. You know, something like this won't ever happen in America. So I know she's over there shook right now. Like you in a whole nother country. From what I hear, they took her passport, uh, all her documents, phone, all that good stuff. She don't got no access to none of that. And like, she can't get back. You know, hopefully, hopefully, man, America do something about it. America is pretty good about ha handling the uh, Britney Grinder situation, you know, over there in uh, Russia and everything. To me, this situation is like, like I say, I can't, I can't call it because other countries got other rules that you have to respect and you have to uh, abide by if you visit those countries, you know. So like, with her situation, man. I just wish her the best. Uh, I hope and pray that, you know what I mean, that uh, she get back home to her family, her loved ones, you know. I don't know if she got kids and stuff like that, but hopefully she could get back to America where she belong at, man, and, and just do what she's supposed to be doing. Take that one on the chin. Live, live and learn, you know. Don't do nothing like that again. Yeah. But like I said, man, that's that on that today. Look out for episode uh, four coming up. Episode four coming right behind episode three. I'm doing two episodes today. Episode three will be about Travis King. If you ain't heard about Travis King, Travis King then got caught up. He was a U.S. soldier. He then got caught up out there in uh, South Korea right now, you know. Ended up landing in North Korea. Last time uh, North Korea had to deal with, like, a United States person, man. You see how the guy's name was Otto. Yeah, look up Otto. They sent Otto back home as a vegetable. And so look out for episode four. Thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate y'all and best believe. Hey, hey, I'm going to tell y'all like this. Stay positive, stay happy, stay humble. And don't let no negativity bring you down. You feel me? Whatever you're doing in life, you got to understand. You got to... Go through it till you get to it. Nothing happened overnight. But I appreciate everybody for tuning in with me. And I'm going to stay at it. You will be seeing me. Like, subscribe to the channel. You know, YouTube channel at Dub399. One love.